Retirement practice year. What is that? Well, oftentimes we'll hear athletes talk about how much they have to practice before they go into their big game. Uh, retirement for us actually can mean the same exact thing. There is nothing different from our perspective from learning for working for years and years and years and then having to switch your total mindset into what retirement is. So often we'll have our families do what we call a retirement practice year. Aaron, walk us through what that means and what that looks like for those we serve. Yeah, that is a great point, Grant. Uh, what the retirement practice year is, is it's a year-long commitment to you sticking to a goal that you have set out. And we have to take that goal back for us is figuring out what your standard of living is. We talk very, very often about standard of living versus replacement of income. Uh, so think about this. If you're accustomed to making $100,000 a year, our industry says we need to replace 70% of that academically. So $100,000, 70%, that's $70,000 a year. Well, here in central Indiana, maybe you have your bills paid off, you don't have a mortgage, you have a modest standard of living, and you need $5,000 a month to maintain that standard of living. That's $60,000 a year. So you have a $10,000 difference. I don't want to be focused on that difference as much, but just making sure that we really, really hone in your standard of living, breaking those things down between fixed and social expenses. Fixed expenses are things that you can't get away from, like cable bills, internet bills, socials, all of the fun stuff. So once the standard of living is figured out, what we do is have you deposit that $5,000 a month into a bank account and see if you can live off that for the year. Now, you might have to make some adjustments along the way, and that's okay. That is what we're trying to uncover and smooth out to make sure that we have that standard of living met, make sure it is the correct amount, and that we're not underestimating it, or more importantly, overestimating it. Absolutely. It's so important to understand, folks, and another way to maybe digest this analogy or thought is you can give up chocolate to lose 40 pounds. You cannot lose 40 pounds and then give up chocolate. That leads to anger management. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to illustrate in that some a little analogy is at the end of the day, before you start entering into the next wave or stage of life we call your life after work or retirement, make sure you've practiced or understand what that key element, those key yes. elements of your standard of living are before you get there. And if you're looking for a team to help you evaluate the, what that looks like, please scan the QR code or give us a call at 800-928-4001. One of our team members will be happy to be with you. Talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Sam Neff, Certified Financial Planner with the Financial Enhancement Group. If you're interested where you stand personally, please click the link below and you can create a profile and a member of our team will reach out to talk about where you stand within the five critical elements on your financial journey. Thank you for your time and we look forward to speaking to you soon.